What's going on guys? This is Al B back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new plugin from Baby Audio called Tape. Now, Tape is spelled T-A-I-P. The reason why it's spelled that way is because Tape doesn't just use your traditional digital signal processing, but it actually uses artificial intelligence to kind of bring out those nuances of an analog circuit and bring it to you in a digital effect. That's what makes Tape by Baby Audio a truly unique Tape plugin. Before we get into it guys, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing you guys this good content. Without further ado, this is Al B. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. All right, guys, here we have it in front of us, Tape from Baby Audio. Of course, as you would expect, it looks great. You have a couple of options where you can change your colors if you would like, which is always a plus. Resizing it is no problem either. It looks great. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play a few different samples that I have that are part of my upcoming sample pack. And I'm going to bypass Baby Audio and turn it back on and then kind of play with the settings and let you get a feel for what each setting is doing. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna actually talk through each of the different settings and give them more of an explanation. So let's go ahead and check out what this thing sounds like. Come on now, quit playing, quit playing. As you can see, you can add a lot of warmth or if you really want to drive it, you can add a lot of distortion as well. So you really can use this plugin however you see fit. Let's check out another sample here. Hey, that sounded pretty good too. Let's do one more. So you can see it really adds a good, it adds some good harmonics in there and it really kind of brings out some, some, it brings out some of the depth of the actual sample and actual sounds that you're hearing. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is jump to one more sample here and I'm going to actually kind of go through the settings and, and be more specific about what they're doing. So of course you have your drive here, which is a little self-explanatory. You can really crank up the drive of the plugin. Let's check it out. Then you have your mix, which is self-explanatory, just your wet and dry signal. Then you have your output, which is really just a gain knob to kind of do your gain staging and control the actual volume of the output. Where? 
glue. Let's make it hot. And you can see hot just kind of really makes the input already um, pretty close to being distorted, pretty close to being driven to its maximum before it even hits the drive function. You just can really, really crank up the amount of drive that you're doing from the jump. Now with the model, you can either go through a single stage or a dual stage. Now, if you listen closely, hopefully you guys have headphones on. When I go to the dual stage, you can really hear it get thicker and you can hear additional harmonics kind of pop out at you. So let's check out this model. I'm gonna go from single to dual. See, um, so these things are subtle, but they're really powerful. And that's really how you can make your samples and make your track sound unique. This is really awesome. So let's let's keep going. Um, let's check out the presence. Um, I'm just going to play with it. and I want you to try to hear and listen for if you can if you can see the difference. See, I would almost explain that one as kind of just adding some depth to the sound. Um, and maybe that's what it means. Like it's a lot more, it's a lot more in your face, but also like you can just hear the depth of it at the same time. So that's a really nice one as well. That's pretty awesome. Let's move over to the high shape, which is really just controlling your highs, right? Whether you're going to bring those down some, or whether you want to bring them up to add more of an airy feel. Um, then we're gonna do the same thing with low shape, which is also just controlling the low end of the frequencies. And you wanna pull those down, or if you wanna pull those up, just depending on whatever you're going for on that track. There you guys have it. That is tape from Baby Audio. Now let's go try to use this inside of an actual track. All right guys, so here I have one of my projects open and I have tape applied in two different places. I have it on my instrument bus here and then I have it on my master bus as well. I'm gonna disable it on my master bus and I'm gonna disable it on the instrument bus. I'm gonna play some of the track and then I'm going to enable it on the different buses and let you get a feel for how it can add some warmth and some glue to your tracks. So the white one is gonna be the master bus version and then the black version is where my instrument bus is. So when you see me bypass the black one, I'm bypassing it on my instruments only. When you see me bypass it on my white one, I'm bypassing it on the master only, all right? Instrument bus.
as you guys can see or hear it adds a good bit of warmth and if i drive it enough it'll add some nice distortion so i really think this is a plug-in that is well worth getting the simple workflow um it just sounds really good first of all first and foremost it sounds really good and then secondly it's really easy to use so definitely something you guys are going to want to check out I'm going to put a link in the description and also put a pop-up on screen to where you can get tape from baby audio. All right, guys, hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. It really does a lot for the channel until next time. This is Al B and we are out. Yes, sir.